Let's work on diametrically opposed. In this problem, we consider simple undirected graphs. As previously discussed, the diameter of a graph is defined by the pair of vertices for which the shortest distance between them is longest among all pairs of vertices in the graph. So we've got a graph, we've got a bunch of vertices in them, and somewhere there's a pair of vertices, and their shortest distance, you know, uh, 11, is longer than the shortest distance between any other pair of vertices in the graph. Uh, they're the diameter because that's kind of as far apart as you can get uh, in the graph. If the shortest path between a vertex i and another j is equal to the graph's diameter, we will say i and j are diametric vertices. So in this case, if this were our i and this were our j, we say i is di diametric and we say j is diametric, but there might be other nodes, you know, maybe even another node that's paired with j, where that shortest path is also of length 11, we'll call that k, and then that'll also be a diametric vertex. Okay, we call the diameter of a graph diam of g, so for this imaginary graph I haven't completely drawn, its diameter diam of g would be 11. Draw a graph in which at least three nodes are diametric. Indicate the nodes that are diametric. Well, we always want to try and start small, uh, so let's just draw our three nodes. We know we need three nodes that are diametric, and we know that the shortest path uh, between each of these nodes and something else, maybe one of the other nodes listed here, is the diameter of the graph. Um, what if we just uh, make the smallest graph we can? So we've got three nodes, we've got to connect them. Uh, let's see here. So at this point, this node here, let's call this A and this C and this B. A and C are diametric. They are two apart, and that's the diameter of the graph, but B's not. Uh, but if I just make everything one apart, then they're all diametric. Okay, great. So all nodes are diametric. There we go. All right. Draw a graph in which a pair of nodes that are diametric have two completely distinct shortest paths between them, both of length diam of g. So both paths are shortest paths clearly indicate the two nodes and both paths. All right. Well, there are two paths between, say, A and C up here. One of the paths is of length 1. Oh, I guess maybe we should, we should label these. One. So one of these paths is of length 1, but the other one's of length 2, so they're not both shortest paths. Okay, so to make them both shortest paths, well, we could lower these weights or something like that, but let's just... Um, Let's just have our two nodes, and let's manufacture one path between them, and then manufacture a different path between them, and keep it pretty simple. Uh, so here's A, and here's B. Uh, to make A and B diametric, we want to make the shortest path between them the longest of the shortest paths in the graph. Uh, I think we can do that just by making these all weight one. That should work out just fine. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, simple undirected graphs. It didn't say unweighted, so, so we'll put weights on. And I'm just going to label these C and D, because why not? C and D. And now, are A and B diametric? Yeah, but you know what? Just for fun, this isn't critical, but just for fun, let's make them even more so. Let's put a, a link 1 in here. I mean, they're not more diametrics, but now they really do define the diameter. C and D do not define the diameter because they have a path between them of length 1. A and C, A and D, B and C, B and D all have shortest paths of length 1, but A and B have a shortest path of length 2, so they're the only two diametric nodes. That's not critical, I just thought it might be fun. Uh, so these are nodes that are diametric, and the two paths between them that are both the same length are here and here. There we go. And then there's this ungraded challenge problem. A rooted undirected tree is a connected undirected graph with no cycles in which a single node has been designated as the root. So it's the usual sense of root. Must the shortest path in a rooted tree T be between two nodes that are diam of T apart? Oh, sorry. Between two nodes that are diam of T apart pass through the root. In other words, does the root have to be on the diameter? 
either draw a small example in which such a path does not pass through the root, or briefly sketch the key points of proof why this must be true. Well, let's, let's just draw a tree. Uh, here's a nice simple tree. Uh, and I'm just going to draw the root at the top. And sure enough, in this particular case, the diameter does actually pass through the root because from this node to this node, that's what gives us the diameter. Uh, so somehow we need to put this diameter elsewhere. Uh, one thing you could imagine doing is just hanging this as a subtree off of a root higher up. If we do that, it's still kind of arguable whether whether this passes through the root. There is a, a, a diametric path here that uh, passes through the root. So let's make sure that the root is just totally uninvolved in the diameter here. So now the longest path in this graph, which is the diameter, because there's only one path between any two pair of nodes, since this is a tree, sorry, between any two nodes, the longest path is from this node here to this node here, and it passes along this direction. And I'm gonna go ahead and weight this since I've been consistently weighting the edges before. I'm going to call this the root, and this path over here, shaded path, is longest in T, uh, i.e. has a length diam of T. So the answer is no. The shortest path in a rooted tree between two nodes does not have to pass through the root. Ah, sorry, the one that's diamt, the longest shortest path. And here's our counterexample. We could probably make a slightly smaller counterexample, but why bother? This one's nice and clear.